Hi, how are you? It's Adrienne and I'm back with a rosy look and a couple of rosy palettes that you might have in your collection and you might want to go ahead and get them out because uh, Natasha Denona just did a rosy tone palette and it's a five pan palette and so I thought that I'd go ahead and play with some of my ColourPop favorites and so that's what I did today and uh, ColourPop does rosy really well. So um, I did start off with the Pretty Fresh by ColourPop. I have this one in 33 Cool. It was a little light so I went ahead and added in some of the Soul. This is the Face and Body Bronzer and Fair so I have these two on as my base today. I did go ahead and use the e.l.f. concealer in Rosie. I think it's the lightest one that they make and it really brightens everything. As far as what I went ahead and did for my bronzer today, I did go ahead and use the NYX and this is a buttermilk bronzer. This one is in all buttered up and this one actually comes out a little bit red. So it has a little bit more red in it and so that's what I have on as far as my bronzer today. As far as my blush, I got out one of my favorites. This is Brute Flute by ColourPop and it is one of my favorite super shock cheeks ever and so that's what I have on as far as the blush today. I also have on another ColourPop favorite. Oh, things are trying to fall off here. Um, so far nothing has hit the ground but who knows it's early yet. And so this one is Flexitarian and so that's what I have on as my highlighter. And then as far as what I did for an under the eye powder, I use the one size. This is ultra pink, and this is, um, a, well, I'm loving this for brightening up the under eye. And so between this and the um, Light Rosy by Elf, this is their camo concealer and the hydrating, these two do really well to go ahead and lighten up my under eye a lot. The one size powder is a matte powder, so it's not going to give you any glow. But again, the Flexitarian that I went ahead and used as a highlighter will give you a ton of glow. It's really a beautiful, one of the all-time favorites, cult favorites from ColourPop. And then as far as what I used on the eyes today, I did go ahead and use Smoke and Roses by ColourPop. And this is one of their makeup palettes. It's available on their website. I think it's also an Ulta, um, but it's a really pretty palette. Went ahead and used this um, in the crease, this uh, matte right above it. Then on the outer corner, I did go ahead and use this um, burgundy purple shade there. Um, as far as what I did on the um, actual lid itself, I think I used a combination of these four colors here. So I started with this in the outer corner, uh, this one, then this one, this one, and then right on the inner corner I, I went ahead and put this really pretty, pretty pink, pretty in pink, but pretty pink. And then as far as right under the brow, I went ahead and used um, this one right here, right under the brow. So the look that I have is very, very rosy today. I also used a ColourPop eyeliner as well. And why did it go and disappear on me? Um, let's see. So I used a burgundy eyeliner from ColourPop and apparently it decided to run away. So I'll have to leave that in the description box. This way that the eye look came out. And so I think that that came out really pretty. I did, oh, here it is. So, yeah, it was hiding. So that's the burgundy eyeliner that I went ahead and used. So I used the Catrice Sungasm powder. This is a light pink powder. This has a lot of um, glowiness to it, and it's what I used as my all over face powder today. And so that's what I have on. And then I went ahead and got out a couple of palettes. Hold on from my collection which actually will give you a rosy pinky look and so if you want to go ahead and participate in um, 
what's coming out now. I have the candy shop from Juvia's Place. And this one's really pretty. It will definitely give you a pink. You could go hot pink or rose with this particular palette. So you might want to go ahead and get that one out. Lost in Love by ColourPop. And this came out as their Valentine's palette, and it has some really pretty purple and pinks over here. It also has one of their new glitter shades in there. And with their new glitters, in fact, I'm going to put a little bit on. There. See if we can go ahead and give it a little bit of shine. Yeah, that's working. So this is one of their newer glitters that actually... Um, it, it you don't need a glitter glue with it and it's really fun and is this one let's just do a little bit of this on the inner corner make it a little bit more sparkly there we go now we changed it into a sparkly look and glitter will do that for you and um, go ahead and spray it again this is it's glisten up by color pop we'll see what how shiny we can get it So, there we go. So with glitter, that's the way that the look is going now. And then um, the Pretty Please by ColourPop will definitely give you a rosy look. And so if you have this one, you might want to go ahead and grab this one. Again, ColourPop does rosy really well. Rosy, yeah, rosy, rosy. And Sin City by um, Essence. Mine is kind of messed up at this point, but it will definitely give you a rosy look as well. This is um, an all shimmer palette, and um, you can usually pick that up in store in Alta. If not, you can order it. Uh, Garden Lights by Flower. These came out at the beginning of the year, and so they're really fun formula. And then Desert Lights by Flower Beauty, which has been out for a long time, and is a really, really pretty, um, probably one of their classic palettes. Definitely could go ahead and do a rosy look for you. Heavy Petal by ColourPop. Again, I think this one is over at Ulta as well as being on their website. Um, has combination. Um, so you could definitely get a burgundy rosy look, but it's also... I think it was an underrated palette. You can do a whole bunch of bronzy, gold looks, and some burgundy, um, rosy looks. So, yeah, I definitely suggest this one. Moth and Up by ColourPop. Uh, this one is more of a nudie pink. It's over at Target, and so it could definitely do a rosy look for you. Uh, this Morphe palette, which is Rose to Fame, it's their rose gold palette that just came out this year. It's really pretty. And that one's over at Alta. And then By the Rosé by ColourPop, which I think is also over at Alta, or on the ColourPop website. And this is another just really pretty rosy palette. So those are some suggestions if you want to participate in the newer rose kind of um, well, Again, whenever N Natasha Denona comes out with the palette, everything tends to shift to that color for a little while. So if you want to participate in the trend, that's a way to do it. Oh, I didn't do lips. So lips, I do have the just a tint. I have a go a go 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 go. And then I also have the so juicy lip on, and this one's in guava. So these are the two lip colors that I have on. These are both by ColourPop. I think you can get these over at Target. So, um, yeah. Um, definitely you can get the Just a Tense over at Target. And I think with the So Juicy's, it may be Ulta or Ulta and Target. I'm not sure. But definitely their website has these on there too. And as far as mascara today, I did go ahead and use the Panorama Mascara. And um, I think that's just about everything for today. So I hope that you have a great day, and I'll see you later. Bye.